right guys happy new year it is january 1st of 2024 and i am back out again this is the very final day of the 2023 to 2024 deer season it is the final day of the holiday hunt i got up early i'm tired after staying up all the way to midnight to watch the ball drop with the family but i'm getting out this morning on the little bit of sleep that i did get and I got the muzzle loader. I'm all ready. I'm set to go. We're going to see if we can make it happen this morning. Guys, stay tuned. Happy New Year, and thank you to all the subscribers. I think we gained a little over 2,000 subscribers in the past 12 months or so. We sincerely appreciate it, everybody. Keep watching. We hope to put a lot more footage out this year. Let's see if we can get it done this morning. One more last deer hunt. Got some snow on the ground this morning, guys. It's about 28 degrees right now. And snow is actually coming down a little bit still, but a little bit of snow. Just about a, maybe an inch or so to cover the ground, which is perfect for seeing where the deer are traveling and for tracking and just seeing them in the woods. It makes it so much easier than it was yesterday. It was just difficult to see yesterday. So oh, we get some fresh, looks like fox tracks. Looks like big fox or maybe even a small coyote, one of the two, on the trail here. Looks like it just went through here. a beautiful morning in the woods unfortunately um, I saw that one deer a few hours ago and uh, it went away from me instead of coming towards me and nothing since so a bunch of turkeys and other animals but no more deer um, beautiful morning in the woods though man it is like awesome out here but I am chilled right through to the bone it's uh, like mid-20 temperature right now, 20 degrees. So I'm going to go in and warm up. I'm hoping to make it out again tonight for the one final set, evening set. So stay tuned. We'll see if we can make it happen. Okay, guys. This is it. This is the final hunt of the year. It's kind of bittersweet. 
man, it's been a long, long season since bow hunting and crossbow hunting and all the rifle season and Colton starting out this year, his first year hunting and it's been quite a season, but it comes down to right now to today. This is the very, very last hunt of the whole season as far as deer hunting is concerned anyway. Got the muzzle loader heading out. One final sit. Gonna sit in the same place I sat this morning. And hopefully, hopefully we will see something. I'm hoping that one deer I saw this morning will come back. Um, I think it was a, a lone doe by herself, but still trying to fill that one last tag for the 2023 to 2024 season. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get it done tonight, guys. This is it. Wish me luck. Finally, deer down with the muzzle loader.
sets to two does, two of the three. Still trying to see the third one in the woods here. See if I can get her to. Alright guys, there's one, and then the other one is way over there. I got my work cut out for me now. <laughs> Last evening sit of the season, and I got two down. Man, I did not think it was going to happen. Down to the wire, that's for sure. All right, guys, <clears throat> I'm not even gonna be quiet right now. This is the end of the season, so. <sighs> Two down right at the very last minute. I took about a 10 yard shot on one of them, and then I took about a, I don't know, 60 yard shot, maybe on the second one, but just dropped the second one in its tracks. And then a third big doe took off running. I tried to reload, and uh, I just couldn't reload quick enough for her. But uh, two is plenty, I think, at this point. I got people that want some deer meat and uh, happy to help them out. So this is nice. I'm walking over now to, to see them and see what I got here. All right, guys, there is the first one I shot. She's a nice big doe. Big body on her. Looks like I hit her a little high right there, but Took her right out, she kicked a little bit. That's why there's some stuff kicked up around here, but. Nice big duel. Look at the trail here, guys, that they were coming down. Crazy beat down trail right here. And there's the second one. It's definitely a younger deer, I couldn't tell. It was so thick, but it's definitely a younger deer. So the uh, tradition's buck stalker. Did it again. Two more deer this year, finally, right at the last minute. So I am very, very happy. Nothing like waiting to the very last minute, guys. It's just now finally getting dark, but I'm going to go ahead and get these deer out of here. And I'm excited, finally. Two more deer, two more tags filled right at the last minute. So this is just awesome. I thought I wasn't going to see anything tonight just because it was getting right down to the last minute here. And then all of a sudden, I I didn't even hear the deer, I just saw him coming and it was almost too late. I quickly hit the, the camera on and uh, the GoPro on top of the muzzle loader. Hopefully that one worked. Sometimes it doesn't work, it just freezes up. So hopefully at least got the shot on the first deer. But yeah, yeah, this is crazy. So two more tags filled for really 2024 because this is January 1st of 2024. So let's get these deer out of here and uh, get on with the night here. All right, guys, here they are, the big one and the younger one, back at the house, finally. It took us about an hour to get them out of the woods. They were quite a ways back in, and uh, Colton helped me here with the little 85 Honda. Love that little machine. Going to get these hung and uh, get on with our night here, guys. So good ending to the season. Got real lucky in that last half hour. So super happy, super thankful. It's been an awesome deer season and ended with two nice ones. So awesome hope you guys have a good healthy happy new year and we'll see you on the next one